They announced recent, like in the last couple days or so, that they added another showrunner to the show, um, which actually makes a lot of sense, which is fun to see that. Um, they they have the same two from the first season, but the one that they added is the guy that wrote the finale. This actually made me feel better because there was news about the showrunner for Avatar The Last Airbender um, season one was like joined as like an executive producer. And I was like, are they just like adding him in because he's like a name person and and or something? Because that's kind of random <laughs> that yeah. Disney would add him. But this made more sense because the new showrunner worked with him, the the Avatar like showrunner guy on a previous show. And so when he he became a showrunner for this season because his writing and his previous shows focus a lot on like action mm -hmm. and 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 like character development happening through like action scenes. Like when you look at like the finale, like there's a lot of character development that happens because of like Ares fight, because of the Luke and Percy fight, because of like the confrontation they have in like um with Zeus and stuff like so the action is there but it's happening to further like the character development of these people's stories as opposed to like a first season where you have to like give a lot of exposition because you have to explain the character the, the world to the audience through the main character like Percy knows how this world works now and so they don't need to do that anymore um, and so adding him as a showrunner when he's, that's the kind of stuff that he does and adding in his friend as an executive producer, now that he's not an executive producer anymore and knows how he works, it just makes a lot more sense. And I'm like, oh, that's actually really smart <laughs> because there is a lot of action scenes, things like that, that have a lot of character development in Sea of Monsters is basically them out in a boat, like getting attacked by Luke and then getting away and then getting attacked uh, with Clarice and then getting away, getting ending up on Cersei's Island, getting away, <laughs> getting attacked by Luke again and where you think that Tyson dies and then getting away. And it's, it's, they're all like important moments, but it's very much focused on like kind of these big action scenes that are more his, what he's good at. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, that makes me feel a lot better about this show. I would be really surprised if they didn't start filming in like June because I would imagine that they want to film as much as they can um, when the kids are not in school. Yeah. So they don't, so, so they don't have to take time. Like they still only can work nine hours a day, but they don't have to stop to have them have their like legally allotted like school time. Hopefully we see an announcement of who's going to be Tyson at the very least. I mean, Talia, they can save that for closer to because she doesn't come up until the end. Mm -hmm. But um you know, there's there's some cast cast members that I'm hoping that they'll announce ahead of time so that we can at least yeah. kind of get some pictures and stuff. Yeah, the way that it worked in like season one was like they announced Walker first, obviously, and then like a month later they announced um, Ariana and Leah, and after that, like for a couple weeks, they announced like slowly like the some of the other characters, but some of them they didn't announce for like months like months into filming they were announced like basically when they were filming those episodes they were announcing like oh like this person was cast as this and this person was cast with that it was like fun that way because it wasn't just like one dump of information you got like little bits as time was going on mm -hmm. and some of that was fun because there were definitely characters in season one that nobody that people did not expect like People were surprised that Lynn Man Manuel Miranda was cast as Hermes, but we were also very surprised that Hermes was in season one at all, mm -hmm. because he's not at all in in the first book. And we were like, "What?" <laughs> like, like it was an excite. It was a fun thing to see that he was going to be there, but that was definitely not what people were expecting. So, part of me is wondering if the same sort of thing is going to happen, where they suddenly announce the casting for some character, and everyone is like where are they going to be that's interesting that you're that you're adding them in right now i don't know who it would be but you never know what they're going to change <laughs>